yeah, I think that um, the biggest thing I can say is that women with PCOS, as far as I'm concerned, feel isolated all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that the more we get out and do something about our PCOS, the better we're going to be. Um, so if it's connecting online, if it's getting a presentation, or just talking to people about it. When I started talking to people around me, I realized that a lot of people around me have it. Yes. It's, there's been so true. studies that show that it's between 10 and 20% of women. Mm -hmm. So that's between 1 in 10 to 1 in 5 women have mm -hmm. it. That's huge. I mean, there's, you've got to know people that have it. And yes. I think that the pamphlets are good in that purpose because print one out and have it with you. You know, give it to your doctor. Um, like aside from the ones you're filling out, you know, leave it in your waiting room at your doctor's office. Give mm -hmm. it to someone that you know. It can help. Yes. It really helps. But you need to, you need to advocate for yourself, and you need to actually stand up and do something for your PCOS. If you That's continue true. to sit there, you will not get any different results. <laughs> That's true. Hi, my name is Beth Wolf, and I am the founder of Power Up for PCOS. I support the Pearls documentary series on PCOS. You can find us on the web at www.powerupforpcos.com. You can follow us on Twitter and Pinterest and like us on Facebook. Power up, baby! <laughs>